Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTut. This one has been a long time in the making due to a few bugs that I haven't been able to resolve but have now been resolved in After Effects. This is how to sync audio to a spectrum, uh, like so. So you can see that we have two different types of uh, spectrum. We have an audio spectrum, which is these lines um, which travel along a path. And there's an audio waveform, which is the more traditional waveform. If I just crank the um, amount of samples up, it'll look more like a real waveform. There we go, for example. Uh, two different ways to do it, both very, very easy. Uh, let's dive right in then. Going to create a new composition, just call this one tutorial and hit OK. Uh, and you're going to want to create a new solid, doesn't matter what the color is, and just call this one whatever you want, audio for example. Um, now what you could do straight away is just, I've got a shortcut here, control space to search my effects panel, but you can just go to your effects and presets window, uh, like this one for example, once it all loads up, uh, and you can just choose audio and choose spectrum. Now this creates an in point and an out point in physical space um, rather than audio space for the spectrum uh, and you have a list of features here you simply choose audio layer and point this towards your audio which we haven't put in yet rather foolishly so you just drag your audio into it there go back to your effects and controls for your layer and choose this drop down layer and choose your audio and immediately you'll see that it's linked now if that's all you want, that's fine. Uh, but you can notice at the moment there's lots of noise to the left and not so much to the right because it's quite a bassy song. So to fix that, you can find a place where you know has got low notes and high notes and you can adjust the start and end frequency until you find something that you're happy with. So let's leave that one at 20 and let's crank this one down a bit until it's a bit more level. There you go, that looks better. But how, for example, did I get it to follow that path? That's nice and easy. It is just a mask path. So you grab your pen tool with a layer selected. You draw in a mask, maybe like that. And then you can see the path option here. I can just choose mask one. And instead of following these two points, which are now completely arbitrary, you can move them around however you like, um, it follows the path instead. And it looks great. Now, if I just duplicate this layer, and delete the audio spectrum, what I can do instead is add an audio waveform. And what this does is the exact same thing. So I can choose my path. I can choose my MC Color Soul Challenger, which is the name of the artist. He's great, by the way, you should check him out. Sound layer, and you'll notice that it's now a waveform. Now you have similar controls, but not the same. Displayed samples is basically how complicated the waveform is. So you crank it way down, it makes it nice and simple because it's selecting less samples. And you crank it up and it makes it nice and complicated because you're selecting more and more of them. Maximum height is how high you want it to be. So I want it to be quite low. And duration is how long that spike remains visible. So if you were to crank this up, it would look more complicated because it's basically the how long it takes to dissipate or disappear from the waveform. Okay, thickness, softness, very obvious sort of things. Uh, and you can choose the colors there. That's totally fine as well. Um, really just play around with it. It's, it's so simple. I don't need to go into it. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. And to do the little swapping out thing, I just selected opacity keyframes like so. Put this one on 0, 100 and put the first one on 100, 0 and then just played it. Oops, no. <laughs> uh, make it visible. <laughs> there we go. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So thanks very much for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. Sorry this one took a little while to get out. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.